Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, I want to take a look at uh, model evaluations. So in uh, Amazon Bedrock, over here, we have model evaluations. We did see an open source library. I can't remember what it's called. It's called like Amazon Evaluation Model GitHub. Let's just see if we can find it. Yeah, FM eval. And so I have a strong feeling that this is what this is utilizing underneath uh, because a lot of these things seem very similar. I've never used this tool before, but I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. But we do have three options here. Automatic, bring your own team. It must manage uh, work team. There's a name for this. It's like uh, RFHL learning. Is that what it's called? Reinforcement learning human feedback. But that's for learning per se. And this is more for evaluation. So it seems like here you'd have to manually check that over. So I'm not exactly sure that process. But let's go take a look at automatic evaluation. So I'm going to go here to say my gen. And what we're going to need to do is um, go ahead and use a model. So let's say I want to use co uh, cohere command light. And so we have a few different ones like text classification. Let's go ahead and do that. And so we have some metrics. And so here they have some built-in data sets. That means that they're already providing you the data uh, to, um, uh, like to input and to check against. And then it's going to determine based on that how accurate it is. Same thing with robustness uh, for this. Obviously, different categories, you're going to get different metrics that you can work with. And so we're going to need a bucket. I did just create a bucket. And so I'm sure you know how to create a bucket at this point, um, but it's very simple. Just name a bucket, whatever you want. But one thing I'll need to do is I'll need to open up cores because I'm pretty sure when I tried to save this, it was giving me a little bit of trouble. And this browse button never works. So I just go here and do this. And I think what it wants is you do forward slash output and, and end with a forward slash or it will error out. Uh, again, I was just doing this so a little bit so I know uh, 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 somewhat what's going on here. And so here it doesn't like the name. Um, valid characters are whatever. Okay, let's try my gen eval. Let's try this. And then here, see it says uh, does not have cores. So let's open this up here. And it's asking for something very specific. Get out of here, Amazon Q. And so we're typing in cores. And it didn't point us to anywhere. So that was not very helpful. So uh, what cores settings does my uh, AWS bucket need to have to work with Amazon Bedrock? model valuation and because I just don't know what it's going to be for that I'm just trying to make my life a lot easier if it could tell me let's go over to where cores is maybe it's under properties I always kind of forget and it is hmm, probably permissions because it is a permissions kind of thing cores cores here's cores there we go so we can edit our cores here and we'll go back over to here and see what it said Require permissions for model evaluation with Amazon Bedrock. Maybe. Okay, so here we go. So um, you create a model. You must specify the correct course permissions to learn more. Go here. And so, so allow from everywhere. That sounds terrible, but okay. Normally you would say like what the origin is, but literally that's just like wildcard everything. You don't usually do wildcard everything, but... They don't have anything else here. Uh, required console permissions to, no, we're not doing human for automatic. So the following policy contains the set IM policies. It's giving full access. So it looks like um, that doesn't really matter here. So we'll save that. And again, it seems like the allowed origin should be more locked down, but whatever. If AWS is giving, giving us that, then we can't complain too much. And I'm gonna go ahead here and hit create. Or we'll select an existing role. It's having a bit of a problem here. And we have a lot of roles that we're creating here. I don't know what this role was going to be called. Let's go back here. This would be AWS IM role. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And we'll search for this. It's crazy that sometimes it has a search and other times it doesn't. And even if we had the search, <laughs> it doesn't really work, does it? Um, yeah, this UI is just, just terrible. You know... It just doesn't work as expected, which is kind of frustrating. So I'm just gonna change the numbers here. Maybe the problem is it's conflicting with the numbers. And so we'll try this again. No errors, does, does not make it clear as to what's wrong. 
my eval. Can we try this? Create, 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 create. And so I can't seem to create this. So we'll try this again. Why it will not work, I do not know why. We'll zoom out here so it's a little bit easier. We'll try this again. So my gen eval. We'll select our model, go here, command R or command light. I'm gonna go with text classification. We're going to go grab our bucket here, which is this one here. We're gonna go ahead and type in S3 colon forward slash forward slash outputs. And we'll scroll on down. Everything seems fine here. It's going to create this one, hit create. Select an existing role or create a new one. I would love to create a new one. Just let me make it. So choose an item role that grants bedrock permission to the S3 bucket. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab this one because it's just not working as expected. This one has S3 and, and this stuff here. So I'm gonna copy this because obviously their UI just is garbage. It was always saying they care about the developer experience yet they ship garbage. <laughs> There's no nice way to say it. Like they're not, they're not doing a good job here with me anyway. It's been years, Adabus. Come on, get get your uh, acting gear here. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste that in. We'll go ahead and hit next, and we'll just say uh, bedrock eval uh, like I am or like uh, eval rule or policy. And I'll go ahead and save that policy. We'll go over to our rules. We'll have to create a rule now. This will be for um, bedrock, I guess. Bedrock. I don't know, so I'll have to make it a custom a custom one here. The only thing I don't know is like, what would we assume the role as for this? I don't wanna lose this just yet, so I'm just gonna paste that up here really quickly. Let's go back over to here. Okay. And so what I don't know is what kind of role do I have to assume? So I don't know, I'm gonna go ask ChatGPT. Uh, you know, I need to create permissions in order to access. Um, I need to create permissions. I need to create an IM role and policy uh, for Amazon Bedrock evaluations to access an S3 bucket and just have general permissions it expects. Okay, because I don't know what I need to make as the assume rule as the principal. I, I'm assuming it's Amazon Bedrock, but I'm not 100% certain here. And so this doesn't necessarily mean that this will be correct, but at least it will take a guess. I meant to choose um, O Mini, but whatever, that's fine as well. So, you know, I'm just kind of ignoring all this because I, I, we already have that. But what I'm looking for is, let's just go ask him like, so, I just need to know what to do for the uh, for the principal. What is this called for the trusted policy for the for the trust policy? I'm gonna assume it's bedrock. I just don't know what bedrock's trusted policy is, like our our principal here. Okay, so it's just that. So I'll go ahead and grab this quickly. And uh, it's not exactly what I wanted. And we'll go ahead and hit next. And so now what I need is this policy here, which apparently is gone now. Um, just type in bedrock here. We know this is a customer managed one, so we'll go ahead and do that. There it is right down there. We'll go ahead and hit next. Um, this would be Bedrock eval policy, uh, po a rule. And so I'm going to go here and choose an existing role. And so hopefully I can select it. And we don't have it. So I'm going to get again have to refresh this because they have a terrible, terrible, terrible UI. I'll never be nice to say to us about their UI. Uh, they change it and they still make it suck, okay? 
we'll go here and we'll go down to this one. We'll go to text classification. I'm going to go and use an existing rule right now as it sucks and can't seem to select anything. And there it is. I'm going to go back over to our S3 bucket and we'll go ahead and type this in here. Um, and so we have those set, nothing else that we need to do. Let's go ahead and create this. Hopefully it works now. Did I not just select the role? Eval role, whoops. There was an error, Bedrock does not have permission to call. Please review your Bedrock IM policy. Okay, well, I don't care. We can change it to Amazon Titan if that makes it happier. Uh, well, that's just only light and express, so it's not exactly what I wanted. Um, hmm, <laughs> let's try Haiku instead, maybe. And we'll have to try this again. We'll go ahead and hit create. Create an IAM rule service that grants permission to the S3 bucket in your evaluation model and the models you selected. Okay. So now I need to know how do I give it access to the models? Um, I'm gonna choose again, mini, this one's faster. So I need to know, let's go make a new window here. I need to add permissions to access um, command like cohere model in uh, for a role that is used by Amazon Bedrock. Okay, hopefully you can figure that out from the lack of information I've provided here. It's gonna do 100 steps. And so here, yeah, maybe it's this. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these parts here. And we're gonna go back and find our role. Uh, we're actually our policy per se. And we'll type in eval here. They really don't make this easy, even for an expert like me. And we'll go ahead and edit this, uh, this here. And so what we wanna do is just go down below and place, place this in here. I'm not sure what it doesn't like. Invalid actions. Well, it would help if it was a proper action. So one thing I can do here, I'll just go ahead and do this. No, I can't just do that. Then it might open up a lot of problems for me here. Uh, so what we'll need to do is, I'll just tell it I'm getting, okay. Cohere model. And I mean, if that's the model, that'd be really nice. We'll go ahead and try that. And this one here is supposed to be our account, but that's US, what, US, US, US West. So let's see if it, it tries a bit better here. Here, it's kind of grouped them all into one. Um, I need for US East one. Okay. And we'll see if it, it will uh, update this here. I don't, I'm not sure if it's text generation uh, 001. We'll have to double check that. I'm not sure how we would double check that. We go over to, mm, into our base models. It'd be nice if it told us the ARNs, I, maybe it does. And so we'll go here and we'll just type in, uh, we'll not type in, we'll just search co here. And so I'm trying to go with command light here. And so what I'm looking for here is the ARN, which is right here. So that's probably what it wants, not all the stuff that it's putting out. And so I'm gonna go back over to here. I'm just gonna take this part out and place this in here. And take that comma out. And so it doesn't know what those models are. Um, 
So it has these actions, but if it says they're not valid, they're not valid. This is what I mean where like the models don't always know, especially when things are new. So invoke model is definitely real. List models is not there, get model isn't. So let's go look up actions. So Amazon Bedrock API actions. What, like so much work to get this working. And so what I'm looking for here is things like invoke or model. So we have invoke model, yeah. There's no like get model, there's get foundation model. So yeah, I mean, basically it's just invoke model. So maybe that's all it needs. We'll go ahead and take the rest out of here. And so that's not a problem. We'll go ahead and hit next and save this. And so hopefully now it has the permissions it needs. And actually it's telling us, well, we changed it back to the other one, right? So we'll go back over to go here, here, and we'll choose this one. I thought it was command light that we chose. Uh, well, what, what did we put in there? This one is, which one is it? Command R. Additional models. Oh, that's the text one. Mm. I mean, it's totally fine. Command light text. So I'm going to, I'm going to guess this is command light. Okay. And we'll go down below here. We'll try this again. We'll close up this tab. Oh, we have to choose it every time. We'll try this again. And here it says, does not have permission to, to this model. Command light 14. Well, I'm pretty sure we gave it access. So let's go back over to here and we'll edit this again. We'll take a look. It is different. In what way though? It almost looks the same. So I'm getting kind of confused. Let's line it up and then we'll know for certain, right? I'm not sure it's just like a font thing. So there is a difference. This one says command light text. Okay, so the one that we chose was command. And this one's command light. And again, I don't really care if it's command or command light in this case. We'll go ahead and do this. We'll hit next. We'll hit save changes. We'll give this a moment here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go back and hit create. There we go, and so now it's in progress. I don't know what this will cost, so just understand if you're not comfortable with it, don't run it. Um, but I'm not worried about cost here, so I'm gonna let this uh, run, and we'll be back here when this is done, okay? All right, I'm still waiting for this to complete, but you know, one concern I have is I'm looking at this data set, and it has 23,000 customer reviews and ratings, and that seems like a lot of data. Um, and for what I wanna do, I don't wanna run this much, so I'm kinda concerned that this is going to cost me a lot of money. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Um, and I would just say that it's kind of frustrating because AWS is providing those data sets. They're not making clear the size of those data sets, how much it would consume. So I kind of feel like this is another failure with AWS. I could create a smaller data set and, and test it on that. But honestly, I'm just going to recommend that you don't even run this because what's the point? Um, as I'm finding this a little, to be a little bit frustrating. It'd be nice if there was some data. Now, here's a question is that if we ran it partially, could we get some of the training data here? As I have no idea how much it's inferred. So we go into this and we don't have anything. So I'm not even sure if he even started up the job or not, but um, yeah, that's the process of eval. And I, I'm gonna say, if you're gonna use it, then use your own data set so that at the very least, you know exactly how much is happening here. I'm not gonna create one here today. I just don't like the service. I'd probably just use um, uh, some libraries to do evaluation. I don't think I would do it this way, okay?